हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी फैक्टर्स कंट्रोलिंग अलाइनमेंट नाउ द वेरियस फैक्टर्स आर द फर्स्ट वन इज ऑब्लिगेटरी पॉइंट द नेक्स्ट वन इज ट्रैफिक अनदर वन इज ज्योमेट्रिक डिजाइन द नेक्स्ट वन इज इकोनॉमी एंड द लास्ट वन इज अदर कंसिडरेशन नाउ वी हैव टू सी वन बाय वन ईच एंड एवरी फैक्टर इन डिटेल स्टार्टिंग विद द first factor that is obligatory points now what are obligatory points we have certain control points along a particular alignment of road which needs to be analyzed carefully so that we can design a very good alignment along a particular area now there are control points governing the alignments of the highways such as these points these are known as control points now obligatory points through which the road alignment has to pass may cause the alignment to often deviate from the shortest or earliest path the various examples of this category may be bridge site intermediate town a mountain pass or a quarry now in a particular alignment we need to provide the major control points or obligatory points at the location of a particular bridge or any intermediate town or a mountain pass or a quarry now the next factor is the traffic the alignment suit requirements origin and destination study should be carried out in the area and the desired lines be drawn showing the trend of traffic flow the new road to be aligned should keep in view the desired lines the traffic flow patterns and the future trend now while deciding a particular alignment of road we need to keep certain informations or we need to keep certain parameters such as traffic flow along that particular alignment as well as the future trend of that alignment whether the traffic is going to increase in the future or not so we need to analyze these factors before deciding any particular alignment okay students now the next one is geometric design it may be necessary to make adjustment in the horizontal alignment of road keeping in view the minimum radius of curve and the transition curve now while deciding a geometric design we need to make the adjustment in the horizontal alignment so that the radius of the curve is minimum just like this that is the gradual transition of the alignment and alignment should be finalized in such a way that the obstruction to visibility do not cause restriction to the sight distance requirement it means that if there is an obstruction like this so it will not cause any restriction to the sight distance requirement suppose that if we finalize a alignment like this then this type of alignment will cause a restriction to the sight distance so if one vehicle is coming from this direction and another vehicle is coming from this direction then there will be a point where both the vehicle strike with each other and accident will takes place so while deciding a particular alignment we have to keep the alignment in such a way that the obstruction will not cause any restriction to the sight distance requirement that is stopping sight distance or the overtaking sight distance now the next factor is the economy the alignment finalized based on the above factors should also be economical it means that while considering the above factors we are going to finalize a particular alignment so we have to keep the final alignment as economical as possible so that the construction cost of that alignment will be minimum now the initial cost of construction can be decreased if high embankments and deep cuttings are avoided and the alignment is chosen in a manner to balance the cutting and filling it means that during the construction of a particular embankment we have to keep the volume of filling and volume of cutting approximately equal so that the total construction cost will be minimum now the last factor is the other consideration 
various other factors which may govern the alignments are drainage considerations hydrological factors political consideration and monotony it means that we have to take the other factors also into consideration that is the drainage consideration hydrological factors political consideration and monotony during the designing of a particular alignment now that is all about the factors controlling alignment thank you very much students